Blinken's meeting will come on height of visits with Ukrainian leaders in Kyiv and European officials in Berlin, with tens of thousands of Russian troops amassed in and near Ukraine, and as Russian forces have moved into Belarus for joint military drills, the White House on Tuesday warned that Russia could launch an invasion in Ukraine at any point. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said, Our view is this. Our view is this is an extremely dangerous situation. We are now at a stage where Russia could at any point launch an attack in Ukraine. Uh, and what Secretary Blinken is going to go do uh, is highlight very clearly there is a diplomatic path forward. It is the choice of President Putin and the Russians to make whether they are going to suffer severe economic consequences or not. It's an extremely dangerous situation. But now at a stage where Russia could at any point launch an attack in Ukraine, and what Secretary Blinken is going to do is highlight very clearly there is a diplomatic path forward. It is the choice of President Putin and the Russians to make whether they are going to suffer severe economic consequences or not. Blinken spoke with Lavrov on Tuesday and urged de-escalation, according to the State Department. A senior official said the pair decided it will be useful to meet in person. Lavrov told reporters Tuesday that Moscow will welcome U.S. diplomatic efforts. But Lavrov reiterated Russian accusations that Ukraine was sabotaging agreement aimed at ending the conflict between Ukrainian government forces and pro-Russian separatists in eastern Ukraine. Again, we see no signs of, uh, uh, of de-escalation, so um, uh, we're going to continue to try to pursue the diplomatic path um, and... Um, and as an administration, make sure that we're, uh, that we're ready uh, should that path fail and should there be another incursion uh, of uh, Russian forces into Ukraine. Russia, which annexed the Crimea Peninsula from Ukraine in 2014, has denied any plans for an attack. But Russia says it could take unspecific military action unless its demands, including a promise by the NATO alliance never to admit Kyiv, are met. U.S. talks with Russia ended in stalemate last week.